Okay, it's another three-point uh, edit tutorial. So this time it's ta-da speed ramps. So we're going to have a look at the VSE and try and do a simple speed ramp due to popular request. So I thought I'd grab this little clip of um, some kids training at a keto. I'll have a quick play through. Here we go. Play, play, play. Run, run, run. So it's pretty brief. Let me do that. So I'm going to highlight the video strip. I'm going to go Shift A and add a effect strip. We'll go select speed control, and it adds a speed control effect on top, which is attached to this strip. If we move them, you can see that it moves with it, adjacent to it. Now, ordinarily, the speed strip uh, matches the length of the clip underneath. So, if I make that longer it also retains the length of the clip. If I make that longer still... Hmm, it gets longer, it slows down. I'm not sure that it should work exactly like that. I think it gets confused as well. Speed strips just seem to be a little bit flaky. Let's see where it finishes there. So it's not very clear exactly why it's like that. So make that the right length. 64. And so what's one of the ways we can change it? We can multiply the speed length. So we can uh, change it like this, make 0.5. Play that. And it's half speed. So of course it runs out here. You would have to change the length of this times 2. So we go up to strip length 185 and multiply by 2. Whoops. Oh, that's confused it. Undo that. Hmm. End length. And of course the audio is not attached to the slow-mo, so it's not working in the same way. I'll put it back the way it was. Now what if I want to do a speed ramp in the middle? Well, we can keyframe the speed clip itself. Let's scroll down here. Turn off that. That's like a set value, so it just does 50% uh, or half speed. If I turn that off, we get to use a speed factor as well. So if I reset my speed value, multiply speed to 1, and then we, can ch we can't keyframe there. If I hover there and go keyframe, keyframe there's no keyframe. But on top of this one, speed factor, um, the input value, we can keyframe that. So it's at 0 at the moment. Make it 1. And it's playing at full speed, 1 times 1. If I make that start out at 1, keyframe that, and come down to here, and make that 0.5, and keyframe that. You can see that there's a keyframe up here in the graph window, graph editor. That shows me the keyframes for the active object, which is speed. I'll try and play that back. And does it ramp? It does not. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Let's try bumping that. See if it updates. Ramp. It did. Okay, so it finally did. If I just stretch that out a bit, let's see what happens with the ramp. Speed, speed, speed. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, so. And it slows down to the end. So the speed ramp does work eventually. It's just a little bit finicky, so I'm going to take that back. Oh, I might leave it long actually. I'll go back here. You can also, that's editing just the speed value. You can also do another thing. So if we um, jump back to the keyframes, oh, I'll select them up here. Select all A, and delete, delete keyframes. I'll go back to the start. Reset this to a value of 1, so it's at 100% speed. Oh. 
So you can see that it plays at normal speed again because we've reset the speed factor to 1. I'll leave the length though out there for the freeze frame. Now the other thing you can do is actually remap keyframes which is kind of cool. Um, we can do that by turning off use as speed. We do that and now we get the frame number. Okay, So we leave um, multiply speed on one but now you'll notice everything's still frame so it's going from first frame, frame one so we can jump back to that by using the page down button and make that a keyframe, I for keyframe and we go along here Oops. as we scroll along you can conveniently see the playhead updating to keyframe 69 for example and if I turn, if I mute the speed strip I can see the original 100% vision underneath. So I'm going to play 100% speed up to this point, which is playhead 33. So scroll down here. I'm going to type in 33. Enter. And I'll make that a keyframe, I key again. And I want it to be, I want him to land on his back there as a slow mo, which if we scroll up and we find a 63. So Oops. I can scrub along here. So I've moved quite a f far. Um, I've moved quite a way along the timeline now, and I'm going to say put frame 63 here. So I'm going to make that a keyframe. So now where it should have been, it'll play 100% up to this point, and then it'll slowly play to the next point. So play this speed. Oh. Of course I've forgotten to unhide that, so I'll turn the strip back on. Slow and it's a freeze. And if we look at this home button to fill the, the curve, you can see that it tapers off at the top here, it slows down because it's a Bezier curve. I can of course grab that and make it tighter if I want to change the nature of the speed. I can also turn this into a linear playback. So if I press T and make it linear, it'll be a straight line play right up to the top there. So I'll play this again. And slow. And then if I wanted to speed back up again, I can maybe leave him on the ground for a little while. Scroll down here. Make another keyframe, 63, and we can play along here. Um, and hide the speed strip again and I can see that I'm up to frame 180 so the frame 180 this little boy in the background is running up again so what we can do is go back to our speed strip come down here put frame 100 whoops frame 180 in there make that a keyframe home to see what, oh look at this, slows down then it speeds back up again so this is going to be a bit strange. So I'll play that again. Slow. Okay, I <laughs> forgot to turn on the speed strip, poke it in the eye again, go back to the start, play slow and then speed up. Okay, now I don't want it to speed up like that, it's a bit, a bit ugly. So what I might do is move to the end here. I'm going to go up to the curve editor, uh, the graph editor sorry, and edit my curve I deselect everything, B key, select that point. So I've only selected that keyframe that we made a moment ago for frame 180. I'm going to press Shift S and I'm going to snap it to the current frame. So now it'll ramp over to that current frame. So let's play that back. Look at it. Slow, slows down there, stops and then speeds back up. And look at that, it's not working. It should be slowly playing back up to that point. So what I've found is, if we come back to this point where it should be moving, scroll down here I give this a little nudge like that and it remembers oh I should be playing and it plays okay so that's the funny strange little oddity that I found with the uh, speed strip earlier today of course you could edit that to do all sorts of strange things there's our little pause in the middle there where it goes flat and I'll play that back Slow bang and then speeds back up again. There you go. Looks pretty smooth actually.
All right. So there you go, some tips on using the speed strip. Of course, you could remap time from back here where the strip doesn't exist. You can pull all sorts of frames out based on what you use as your um, speed strip uh, underneath. Anyway, thanks very much for listening. I'll see what I can get done for the next chip, next tutorial. Thanks very much.